I love tortellini, especially cheese tortellini. So we'll be preparing Tuscan tortellini for you in a wine and stock, chicken stock sauce, along with some cream and herbs and spices and tomato paste. And this tastes fantastic and it's ready in 30 minutes. Let's get started. Hi friends, I'm Gastro Guru and welcome to Gastro Guru Kitchen. Hi friends, today for you I'm going to be making Tuscan tortellini. Is, these are cheese tortellinis which you know will be boiling for three minutes and then before that we'll be cooking and preparing this Tuscan sauce. Tuscan sauce is going to have onions and garlic and herbs and uh, there's going to be white wine in it. Also there's going to be uh, chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock if you're vegetarian and then uh, sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of cream, it's going to taste amazing, so let's get started. All right, friends, so to make a Tuscan tortellini, the cheese, you know, tortellini, the first thing we're going to do is going to add some olive oil, about two tablespoons, and a hot in a saucepan, all right? So the saucepan has been preheating, and so to that, I'm going to start adding onions. So this is one chopped onion. This is that a quick toss. And right now we are cooking on medium heat. All right. So you can hear the sizzle of the onions. Okay. And as the onions sizzle and we saute them, again, we don't want to like fry them, we're just uh, you know, getting the raw taste out of that. The next thing we're going to add to that is going to be two cloves of chopped garlic. Okay. We'll give that a quick toss. Okay. Then we're going to let the onion sweat for minute more and then you know we'll be adding some wine to the glazer all right so our onions and garlic have been starting for a couple of minutes now it's time to deglaze the can i'm going to add about half, half a cup of white wine so you want to use in a good quality white wine, like the one that you would drink, and not some, you know, cooking wine, which is, you know, cheap and doesn't taste good, all right? So, we're gonna let the wine, the white wine cook down for a couple of minutes, so that, you know, we get rid of the alcoholy taste, and at the same time, we are deglazing the pan, all right? Next thing I'm going to add to this is a cup of chicken stock. Now you could add vegetable stock if you're a vegetarian. You don't have to add chicken stock. It's personal preference. Okay, so don't let the chicken stock make this dish not edible if you are a vegetarian. Just add Western sack. All right. That's looking good. Now, what we can do is add about a tablespoon of 
tomato paste. Yeah, about a tablespoon. That should be good. And then we'll give that a quick stir to blend it in. Okay. All right. Now, next thing that's going to go in here is some cream. So this is about half a cup of cream. And when you add the cream, make sure that you reduce the heat. Otherwise, the cream will start curdling. And once it's blended in, you can again increase the, the flame. All right. So that goes in there. Now, next thing I'm going to add to that is about one tablespoon of mixed Italian herbs. So this is a blend of dry rosemary, dry basil, oregano. So you can use any, you know, dry Italian herbs to season this. Okay. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, not too much, because when we boil and cook the cheese tortellini, we're going to use some of that salty pasta water to, you know, give this body and flavor, all right? So at this point, while this is simmering, we're going to add some crushed black pepper. Oh yeah, we are building up the flavors, baby. You can add more or less for your personal taste. Then, what we're going to do is add about half a cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes. So these are, you know, you get them at a grocery store. And basically they are preserved in oil, sun-dried tomatoes. So, you know, just chop them into bite-sized pieces. We're going to add that to that. So that's going to give it a, like a pungent, uh, you know, pickled flavor. And it's going to taste fantastic. All right. All right, friends. So I have boiling pasta water over here. To that, I'm going to be adding salt. Okay. And then I, here I have a pound of the frozen tortellini, these are cheese tortellinis, and these are, you know, no preservatives, you know, Italian style. I'm going to add that. So this is going to be a quick and easy recipe where within half an hour, 30 minutes, you're going to have delicious Tuscan style tortellini. All right, friends, so our sauce is looking good, a Tuscan sauce, and I like, you know, a bit of a spice and color to it, so I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of red chili powder, okay, not too much, just a little bit to give it that oomph, that's what I like. So I'm going to add a little bit of that, also it gives color. Now, again, if you cannot handle the heat, you can add paprika, the one that doesn't, you know, taste spicy, and that should be okay too. So now... I'm give that a quick toss. All right. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do is add about half a cup of thinly sliced spinach leaves. These are, this is baby spinach, which I, you know, rolled into like a log, stacked them on top of each other, and chiffonated them, made them into thin strips. All right. I'm give that a quick toss. And we're going to let the spinach leaves wilt down a bit. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to add to this is some pasta water. Because that, you know, starchy pasta water is going to give it some nice body. Right? To our Tuscan sauce. All right. Oh, yeah. I would say about two ladlefuls of that. Not too much. Okay. 
can sell it. And there's adequate costs in that the pasta water kind of enriching this. So what we're gonna do now is let this cook tortellini, cheese tortellini, simmer for a minute more, and then we're gonna remove it from the saucepan and plate that, all right? Okay. All right, friends, so our Tuscan tortellini, cheese tortellini is ready. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish that with some grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. Make it nice and nutty and rich. And then some freshly chopped parsley. Oh yeah, it's gonna look awesome. Oh my goodness, look at that, it smells fantastic.